Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to properly import a piano sheet uh, made of MIDI files um, into um, the um, Smart Pianist app uh, for the Yamaha uh, Digital Piano. Uh, for example, like for the precisely for the uh, CSP family, uh, this line has like starlight features, so you can see all the lightings coming right in front of your uh, um, notes and. Uh, the challenge with that is like when you import any types of like MIDI files into the the uh, the smart uh, pianist app, uh, apps, uh, all the notes goes like in only one like in the right hand. So um, you cannot like practice separately um, with each like either like your your right or your left hand. Um, so it was quite challenging. There was like no solution on the internet. So I felt the needs to uh, yeah. Um, show my discovery uh, to the world. So uh, first thing you need to do is uh, get the the software Cubase. I tried many other software with um, to, to manage MIDI files. Uh, the only the only one who worked for separate the channel properly that works because you can separate channel with either like other DAW software like uh, Fruity Loops or I even try like Reaper. Um, the problem is like, I don't know, it doesn't assign the right way, uh, channel like one and channel two, uh, Cubase actually is owned by, uh, Steinberg is a Steinberg uh, product, um, product and, uh, Yamaha own Steinberg. So that's probably why it works with Cubase. So if you go like on, uh, yeah, just write Cubase on the internet. I, I got the, uh, try Cubase element 13. Uh, this is like, um, a software, um, I mean, it's like, I think it's 150 to, to purchase it, but you can download it and have um, the uh, trial version for like uh, 60 days. So once it's download, um, you can open it and then you'll see here, whatever, uh, create piano composition, select any folder. Then there's this error. You can assign, you know, microphones and speaker. I don't care. And then, uh, so here, the most important things, because if you just drag and drop or like import, for example, like uh, MIDI files here, right like this, you can create yes. And I'll, I'll uh, and by the way, like those, those MIDI files, I, uh, those were like a uh, MuseCore uh, MIDI files that I downloaded with my account. And uh, so like, it's kind of the perfect match, man. You can, you can, you can have access to any, uh, piano sheet uh, in the world or most on MuseCore. You can download them and you'll plug it into your uh, uh, your Yamaha to learn how to to play them with the the Starlights feature. Uh, okay, so back here, River Flow New. Uh, here it is. So the problem is like yeah, there's like a, an error, and then it doesn't work. I went on the internet to see how to make it work. It took me some times. I just played around and I found out you need to go and edit preference MIDI files and then um, uh, yeah, exactly there. And you see the problem is there. I mean, I don't know why it's set up by default to this. Uh, so you need to change it to MIDI track, uh, apply, okay. And then you can import it again create and it's important to, to, to make to write create if you just, just say no it doesn't work I don't know why but you need to create a new project when you do this so you open it select and then boom it works like you you were able to import the MIDI file so you can see here um, the notes are separate there's no like uh, you know uh, sounds now but all the notes are there I can probably yeah uh, zoom in and zoom out. So what you can do actually, yeah, the second most important thing here is, uh, you need to wait, I just want to make sure it's the right one. So, okay. This is my, uh, right hand, my left hand. So what I'll do is like, I'll put channel one and then for the second one, channel two, this is the most important things here. So from there, I'll be able to uh, just re-export it. And uh, so that way, the, the smart pianist uh, Yamaha app will be able to uh, separate each channel. So um, uh, 
first write Cubase. It could be like separate hen, and then um, that's it. And from there, I mean, I can go forward uh, even more. Actually, you can just uh, take the, the, the MIDI files, um, send it to you by emails, and uh, download it from your smartphones through, you download the MIDI files uh, from, your, from your emails, and then you can download it, um, transfer it in your smart, um, smart pianist app uh, to be able to, to open it and play around in the, uh, uh, in the piano. So, all right, uh, hopefully I resolve many of the issue you encounter. Uh, so many people on the internet uh, telling that it was uh, uh, they get scammed by uh, by Yamaha because uh, uh, there's no possibility to you know use like properly the, the right and the left hand. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, able to enjoy your uh, piano experience um, with this.